Welcome to the Crane Trust Nature and Visitor Center and the Great Sand Hill Crane Migration. We are so glad you're here. The Crane Trust is a nonprofit organization established in 1978. Through land management, education, and scientific research, our mission is to protect and maintain the physical, hydrological, and biological integrity of the Big Bend area of the Platte River so that it continues to function as a life support system for whooping cranes, sandhill cranes, and other migratory bird species. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that you have a wonderful experience. National Geographic has called the sandhill crane migration one of the greatest wildlife phenomena in North America. The Crane Trust works in this region for good reason. It has a vital lifeline for the largest gathering of cranes anywhere in the world. Nearly one million sandhill cranes return to this narrow stretch of the Platte River for several weeks every spring. The cranes find safe refuge here, where the river is wide, shallow, braided, and clear of vegetation. Today you will witness the sandhill cranes on one of their most favored stretches of river. During migration, these birds travel with their offspring from the previous year, while the young birds begin courting new mates. Observing the cranes in their natural habitat provides a unique window into their fascinating social behaviors. Their captivating, graceful dances reveal the complex nuances of courtship, socialization, establishing territories, releasing aggression, and teaching their young. During their short stay on the Platte River, the cranes will increase their body weight by 15 to 20 percent to prepare for the long journey north. While a large portion of their diet is waste corn and other grains, their primary nutritional needs are met in the adjacent wet meadows and prairie. A vital part of their diet is plant tubers, small mammals, snails, amphibians, reptiles, and invertebrates. These foods provide calcium and protein vital for egg production. Some observers may be fortunate enough to spot a tall, white, endangered whooping crane among the sea of gray birds. With fewer than 600 whooping cranes remaining in the last self-sustaining migratory flock, the chance to see one of the world's most endangered and magnificent species in its natural habitat is a privilege. Whooping cranes typically migrate in late March and April, and often stop on the river and neighboring lands to rest and feed before continuing on to their breeding grounds in northern Alberta, Canada. The majestic whooping crane is the reason the Crane Trust was originally formed. The purpose of the trust is to protect, enhance, and preserve the central Platte River habitat, which is essential for their survival. These birds came perilously close to extinction a hundred years ago, when only about 20 whooping cranes existed worldwide. In 1978, the Platte River was designated as part of the critical habitat for the whooping crane. The Platte River is a very different river than it once was. There was a time when it was described as a mile wide and an inch deep. Recent decades have brought significant changes to the way the Platte River has been managed, including the construction of more than 15 major dams and 200 different diversions. Therefore, the natural character of the river has altered and allowed for erosion of the stream bed and encroachment of vegetation on its sandbars. Water flow is significantly reduced due to the many competing uses of the river's water. Bridges, trees, and invasive plants have also girdled the river in many places, compounding issues caused by reduced water and loss of sediment flowing downstream. Therefore, the Crane Trust and our conservation partners use mechanical means to mimic the physical action of once common high river flows and ice jams. The Crane Trust science team uses well-developed monitoring practices to study changes over time to best guide and manage the sustainability of our lowland tallgrass prairie. Historically, wildfires, flooding, and ice jams scoured the river's landscape while natural ecosystem engineers like bison prairie dogs, and beavers naturally maintained the river's delicate balance. This is a complex and adaptive ecosystem whose natural forces have been severely constrained and now relies on the work of humans to preserve the habitat. 
From the air, anyone can see the contrast between managed land and areas where trees and invasive vegetation are allowed to choke the river channels that were once maintained by a combination of natural occurrences. Because of our ever-changing world, this habitat and the cranes need our protection. If we work together to make the Platte River the safest and most adaptive habitat it can be, our region can continue to be a stronghold for migrating birds and other species for years to come. Your membership and donations are essential to the work for successful habitat preservation. This also means success for the cranes and for future generations of people and all wildlife. Without friends like you and the efforts of the Crane Trust and other conservation organizations, these species would cease to call these habitats home. Information on becoming a member or making a donation can be found in the lobby of the visitor center or on our website at cranetrust.org support. Thank you for your interest in and support of the Crane Trust mission. Soon you will depart for your crane viewing experience. The Crane Trust manages nearly 10,000 acres of land to ensure that sandhill cranes and other migratory birds thrive along the Platte River. Cranes must rest and refuel while they are here. By following our guidelines, you can help ensure they are not disturbed. Your group will carpool to the blind in a caravan led by your guides. Your guides will lead you on a walk to the viewing blind provide instruction during the viewing experience, and escort you as a group back to your vehicles at the end of the tour. Please observe our rules and guidelines to ensure a positive experience for everyone and to avoid disturbing the cranes and other wildlife. Please use the restroom here in the building before you leave for your tour. Once you are in the blind, you will stay inside and out of sight of the cranes until your guide says your group may leave. In the evening, your exit will be after dark. In the morning, you'll exit once the cranes have left their roost for the day. It is imperative we remain quiet near the river. Speak only in whispers. Please lock your cars manually. We don't want any honking or headlights flashing. Move quietly and stay together with your group. Please silence all notifications on your phone. Airplane mode works well to turn off apps and still have access to your phone's camera. Your guide will have a phone with them in the event of an emergency. Also, please decrease the brightness of your phone screen. It is extremely important to not use flash photography or lights for videography. Please use electrical tape to cover camera flashes or other lights that may automatically light up. Remember, bright lights and loud noises will spook the cranes from their roosts. Camera tripods are not allowed in the blinds due to limited space. However, monopods are permitted. Photographs before morning light and after sunset will not turn out well. Please keep your cameras put away during the dark. Be patient, be quiet, and be inspired. Enjoy this peaceful experience. Keep hands, arms, heads, binoculars, and cameras inside the windows of the blind at all times. Cranes are hunted in other states, so a hand or a camera sticking out of a blind may look like a threat. Stay inside of the blind until your guide ushers the group out. Please be considerate of others in the blind. Allow everyone to share windows to see the river and birds from different views. Feel free to ask questions, but again, remember to whisper. Most importantly, follow your guide's instructions. Watching the cranes roost on the river is a remarkable experience, and we are thrilled to share the adventure with you. Thank you for respecting the wildlife and for helping us create a wonderful experience for everyone.